TYT Sports, Francis Maxwell. Day 8 started off with a game between two teams that I had predicted to go through the competition, so it was a little tough one to call. Uh, but I did say Colombia were going to be my team predicted to go through, but not to toot my own horn or anything. Boop, boop. Um, so a goalless first half had us thinking it was going to be another draw between Colombia and Ivory Coast. Um, but both teams had their own first set of chances. Colombia looks so threatening going forward. They, they are one of the most entertaining teams to watch. And then they, in the second half, uh, Colombia took the lead with James Rodriguez. I think he, he likes to pronounce James Rodriguez. Um, he doesn't like to be called James. Well, anyway, James Rodriguez uh, put the Colombians in front in the second goal of his competition. And again, amazing celebrations. Fair play to Colombians. They're honestly one to watch when it comes to their goals being scored and after. Um, and then they took a 2-0 lead with uh, Quintero, it's made it 2-0. But this competition continues to show us that no matter what, if you're 2-0 up, it's not safe. Teams can come back and Ivory Coast hit back with another great goal. It was Gervinho, who's in form right now for Ivory Coast, grabbing his second of the competition, dancing by three or four players before putting a powerful shot past the goalkeeper. And uh, they look back in it and the last 10 minutes was so threatening. Ivory Coast had a few chances. Uh, Deidre Drobba nearly got squeaked one in at the end, uh, much to Ben's delight here, who had 2-2 on um, when he was hoping for that to go in but unfortunately Colombia come away 2-1 victors and uh, they look very good going through to the last 16 of this competition so the Turk of this competition despite the loss Gervinho his goal was just one of, is, is a great goal I love solo efforts I love to see a man take on players and put one in the back of the net so he gets it for that and again going with previous things we get to see a jerk in this game we do like to see the odd controversy but it is refreshing when games are well played and well refereed so we're going to have to give two Turks and once again the Colombian team amazing celebrations you will forever be our Turk if you continue to celebrate the game like that those dance moves will be definitely making their way to the TYT dance floor on the weekend so um, fair play to Colombia they go through the last 16 Ivory Coast now have to get another win under their belt in game three uh, stay tuned for more action